Hey Marty, welcome back. Another week of exciting stories with Mr. Tim. Uh, on Friday, I set out the challenge for um, children to go outdoors and do a bit of exploring. I hope you're able to do that this weekend. We did. We were able to find um, a few trees to climb. And uh, my children love conkers. So conkers are a horse chestnut. It's those little, those beautifully, um, those nuts that uh, have that real spiky shell. And they've been doing projects with the conkers. They've been making crowns. And uh, Anushka's been making these cool little pyramids of conkers it looks it's like a christmas tree of conkers and it's really exciting so we did get out we, we 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 made a bit of an adventure we didn't find any tigers though uh but we enjoyed the sun and um the fresh air so i really hope that you got the opportunity to do that over the weekend and um oh the question i have for today was uh true or false are those little stickers on fruit, like the apples and kiwi fruit, are they edible? True or false? So put your thinking caps on, talk with your brother or sister or your mum or dad, and figure out if that is true or false. If you can eat those little stickers on the fruit labels. And after the story, I'll tell you the answer. Today, we're going to be reading The Snail and the Whale. And we're going to have a whale of a good time. Great story. And it's uh, Julia Donaldson and Alex Schaefer, Schaeffler. And you guys might have seen this um, dynamic duo um, with the Gruffalo. And that's another great story too. So, um, without further ado, let's do the snail and the whale. This is the tale of a tiny snail and a great big grey-blue humpback whale. This is a rock as black as soot. And this is a snail with an itchy foot. The sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. And as she gazed, she sniffed and sighed. The sea is deep and the world is wide. How I long to sail, said the tiny snail. There she is there, looking longly out to the sea. I do love the sea. These are the other snails in the flock who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with an itchy fit, Be quiet, don't wiggle, sit still, stay put. But the tiny sea snail sniffed inside then cried, I've got it, I'll hitch a ride. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail that looped and curled and said, Ride wanted around the world. We ride wanted around the world. That's a nice bit of advertising. This is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale, immensely long, who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmery ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale. He held it out for the starlit. To, uh, he held it out of the starlit sea and said to the snail, "Come sail with me." Yeah, hopping on. It'd be a lovely way to travel. This is the sea, so wild and free, that carried the whale and the snail on the, on his tail to towering icebergs and far off lands. Ooh. With fiery mountains and golden sands. Love the illustrations, there's a little bug there. Huh? These are the waves that are and crashed that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed the tiny snail on the tail of the whale these are the caves beneath the waves where colourful fish with feathery fins and sharks with hideous toothy grins swam past the whale and the snail on his tail this is the sky so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, sometimes filled with a thunderstorm. <laughs> with zigzag lightning flashing and frightening, the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. <gasps> Must be snowing there. It'd be a bit hard if it was hailing. 
And as she gazed at the sky, the sea, the land, the waves and the caves and the golden sand, she gazed and gazed, amazed by it all, and she said to the world, I feel so small. But then came the day the whale lost his way. These are the speedboats running a race, zigging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with an ear-splitting roar, making him swim too close to the shore. This is the tide slipping away. Uh-oh, the whale is stuck. <gasps> and this is the whale lying beached in a bay. Quick off this, quick off the sand, back to the sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land, I'm too big, moaned the whale. The snail felt helpless and terribly small. Then, I got it, she cried, and started to crawl. I must not fail, said the tiny snail. What's the snail going to do? This is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. This is the teacher holding a chalk, telling the class, sit straight, don't talk. This is the board as black as soot. And this is the snail with the itchy foot. A snail, a snail. The teacher turns pale. Look, says the children, it's leaving a trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail saying, save the whale. Cool dinosaur there. Here's a whale. Oh, these are the children running from school, fetching the firemen, uh, digging a pool, squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool. This is the tide coming into the bay, and these are the villagers shouting hooray as the whale and the snail travel safely away. Back to the dock and the flock on the rock who said, how oh, time's flowing, and haven't you grown? And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves, and how the snail so small and frail with a looping curly silvery trail saved the life of the humpback whale. Then the humpback whale held out his tail and on crawled snail after snail after snail. And they're running a cruise. And they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of the grey blue humpback whale. Look at the little friends all on there. That's a great story. And um, thank you for listening. So going back to that question, are the sticky labels on fruit edible? True or false? Drum roll. The answer is true. They are a food grade uh, paper and the glue on them is a food grade. So if you accidentally eat um, eat one of them, it's absolutely fine. So, and just end with a joke, what's uh, worse than finding a worm in your apple? Half a worm. <laughs> Brilliant, now. Be good to your parents. Make sure you do something fun today. And head out to the garden like I said, I suggested. And have a whale of a good time. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.